Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Uh, this is going to be a break from my normal daily bits and stuff, and we're going to talk about one of my favorite video games I've played this year and probably in a long time, probably since Elden Ring. Um, and I know that's going to make a lot of people like <laughs> Elden Ring. That's the greatest game ever made. Um, yeah, I played Elden Ring. I actually beat it. And I really enjoyed it, but. Uh, this is a game that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. Uh, and this is Alan Wake 2. Now, I think it's been about 13 years since the last one. And this game actually takes place 13 years after the last game. Um, I don't want to give any spoilers, okay? This is one of those games you have to experience yourself. Uh, you, it's a very good idea if you haven't already. Play the first game in American Nightmare. Uh, totally great games. They actually have a remastered version of Alan Wake uh, with some of the DLC. So it's a very good idea if you haven't played the original game, uh, go back and play this because um, you're going to be lost. I'm just going to tell you. This game was made for people that uh, are entrenched in that universe. Um, and, you know, for a game that's 13 years old, or give or take, it's over a decade, um, it still holds up pretty well. Uh, graphically, it's still great. Um, the writing is top notch. The voice acting is mid, but it's still great. But I'm not going to talk more about Alan Wake One. We're going to talk about Alan, Alan Wake Two. So just a few things I want to talk about. Okay, we're not going to talk much about the story because it's there's a lot to it. Um, you have to really pay attention when playing this game because it is a mind fuck. Like for sure, for sure, it's a mind bender. Um, the gameplay looks great. Um, it actually is playable um i mean it, the, the original game was playable right uh but modern touches to the control system like aiming uh weapon usage and uh ui stuff like that it's way better now uh it does feel similar to i don't know the resident evil 2 remake or resident evil 4 and let me go ahead and tell you this this game is considered survival horror now the original game was kind of horror ish but this game goes all in on the survival horror stuff um especially you know, like Limited ammo, uh, uh, item management, stuff like that. It's all here. It's all here. Um, there's plenty of scares, plenty of jump scares. There are some cheap ones, but there's also um, other things that's completely unnerving as you're going through this game. Uh, one of the cool features of this game, which I really enjoyed, I didn't like it at first until I got a whole lot more into it. You've probably seen it just now on screen. Uh, each character, there's two characters. There's Saga Anderson, and then there's Alan Wake. Um, I'm not going to tell you where how Saga belongs to this story, uh, because it's one of those things you have to really play the game, uh, go through it. And this game's probably about maybe 15, 20 hours, give or take. You'll probably get a little bit more into it if you do some more exploration. And I h highly recommend that, because you're going to find things in the game, like uh, notes, stuff like that. Uh, or, you know, you can run across a commercial on a TV, kind of similar to how the original game had the nice, nice springs, um, TV shows. You can watch those and there's a radio station and you can listen to the world. This is a fully realized world it really is. Um, it's, I mean, you can tell that there was a lot of work done to this. Uh, it's cool to see here, um, and see, actually, this is not really a spoiler. Uh, there is a character named Casey, and Casey is basically Max Payne. Uh, looks like Max Payne. It's got the uh, same character model as the original Max Payne, and has the voice actor for Max Payne, which uh, I hate to say this, um, and it's sad that it happened, but um, the, the man who voiced Max Payne is no longer with us. Um, he passed away just the last few days ago. Um, which is really sad because he does a really great job and I don't see how they're going to be able to replicate Max Payne because they are doing some Max Payne remakes, which, you know, we're definitely going to be playing. Um, but it's sad to see um, that voice actor pass. Now, like I said, I don't know how they're going to fix that. They may find a way to do it through AI, which I don't know if the family of that specific um, voice actor would like that. Uh, I would like for his legacy to live on through the games because I don't think you can have Max Payne without him. Uh, you can still have, um, you know, the, the, the model, the, uh, 
person that Max Payne is modeled after, you can have him, but that voice, like that is Max Payne. Um, and it's really sad that he actually passed away. Uh, so yeah. So a little bit further into the game, uh, the thing I wanted to talk about was this really cool feature you can access any time during the game. Um, Saga has one, it's called the Mind Space. And basically, it's a way to piece together uh, evidence, uh, do some profiling, uh, take a look at notes, uh, put things together. It's kind of like a puzzle, but you actually, once you find pieces of evidence in the game, you apply it to a wall, and you can actually start... Uh, good, 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 good example. I don't know if you guys seen uh, Detective Pikachu. Uh, whenever P Pikachu's drinking his coffee in the morning, and there's like paper scattered everywhere, pieces of yarn all over the place, he goes trying to put together the investigation. It's kind of similar to that. Like, um, there she's trying to put together the pieces, and you know it works really well. At first, I didn't like it, but the further you go into it, and the more of that it's used. Um, it's very important. Now, Alan has the same type of thing. It's a writer's room uh, where he can take a look at the storyboard, stuff like that, notes and everything like that. It's not as complete as Saga's. Saga's, um, I think Saga is more of the main character in this game than Alan, which some people were saying, oh, that's woke, which it's not. Um, you know, I, I, just because you have a female protagonist does not mean it's woke. I'm just going to just go ahead and say that because for some odd reason, people are like, oh, a female is going to be a main character. Oh, it's woke. No, it's not. Shut up. Shut up. This game does not have any political uh, message or anything to throw at you. This game is full on for the story, full on for the fans. And um, you can tell that there was a lot of love put into this game. Uh, like I said, it's probably one of my favorite games in a very long time, the last few years, probably since Elden Ring. Uh, and I loved Elden Ring. Um, and one of my Game of the Year's uh, games this year, I forget what it was. That's bad if you forget what the Game of the Year thought you thought was going to be Game of the Year. I'm sure it'll come back to me. Um, but I, I, you know, I played through it, and like I said, it took about 20 hours to go through the game. Um, they do kind of leave it open. Uh, again, not going to tell you what happens. But there is one part of the game, it <laughs> it knocked me for a loop that it happened, and I was smiling like ear to ear when I the whole time playing through it. Um, you guys, you guys will see it because it's going to come out of left field. It's going to happen. You're going to be like, "What the fuck happened? What's going on here?" And it's probably one of my favorite things in the game, like best part of the game in my opinion. And they actually had a stage thing on the game awards uh with alan wake and the creators and where it was doing a musical number and like i said I, that's in here there is a musical but i just want you to experience that yourself i'm not going to give you full details now some other cool things that happen to the game again i'm not going to i'm going to try to stay away from spoilers is you can run across full-blown movies like not like super long movies maybe like 10 15 minutes you you'll find like a movie later on in the game it's like 15 minutes long and it's really well produced like pretty well done really well done there's a lot of stuff in this game it's just money was spent on this game i don't think this game's going to make its money back um kind of similar fashion to alan wake the first game it never really never really took off and i'm surprised after so long we actually have finally a sequel to uh, one of my favorite games, and it's finally here, and it's actually really well done. Um, and the game doesn't skip a beat. Like, it doesn't... Um, you, some people will be like, oh, this is boring. Uh, you're always on edge. You're always on edge. Like, if you're switched between uh, Saga or Alan, which you could do that in the game, you can switch between the two characters at a certain point. Um, I didn't do that. I didn't switch between them. Uh, I just played it all the way through, and then you got to the Alan's parts, and uh, so I may eventually play through it again just to experience again because there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff I think I miss because um, you know I didn't do a lot of exploring. I'm trying to I'm trying to complete my backlog, which I have a huge backlog, and I just finished Mortal Kombat One, which we'll make another video about that too. Um, you know, it's pretty good, but yeah, Alan Wake. I, I'm I'm just going to tell you, it's probably one of the best games of 2023. Um, probably one of the best sequels of all time. Um, I know that's really, really crazy to say, 
but it's probably one of the best sequels to a game in a long time, especially a game that you didn't expect to ever happen. Um, so I want to leave it at that. I want you guys to go home. If you haven't already, check out Alan Wake 2. It's a definitely, it's a must buy and you will not uh, be disappointed. I hope, I hope. If you're not into uh, deep, crazy, mystery, psych, psychological thrillers, and I don't, I don't know if you'll like this, but to me it was really good. It's, it's got that survival horror thing going with it and it's got a lot going on with the story and it just keeps you on the edge of your feet the whole time. Um, as my wife actually watched me play some of it and that was part of it. She's like, what the fuck are you playing? And I told her, I was like, this is my favorite game this year. And she just looked at me. She's like, I was like, you don't understand. You don't understand. This is the, this is amazing. Um, I don't think she still understands. <laughs> I, I don't think it, it is confusing. Like when she seen the musical number part and like, she just looked at me. She's like, what? the fuck is this game and i was like what the fuck is this game and i loved every single moment of it so good um I, i'm not going to give it like a score or anything but i'm just going to tell you that it's definitely fucking playable for sure it's uh, it's one of those titles you don't want to miss uh 2023 had a lot of great games there's some games i haven't even touched yet like boulder to day three tears of the kingdom which that reminds me i haven't even played through Bre Bre Ugh, breath of the wild so um, I think you guys will enjoy this game. I, I, I really promise you, you will enjoy it. Uh, if I, I, you don't, then uh, I, I don't know what I can tell you. I'm just saying it's a great game. So, All right, guys, I love you very much. I'll see you soon.